Oh shit, boys. This is the new damn house. This must be some kind of made up land because there's nobody yelling next door and there's no elephants above me. What is this? What planet is this? All right, so here's the new house. I guess this is the, the house tour. I believe this is. So I might as well start with the, the main floor. Here's the fireplace. And we have honestly no idea how to turn it on. I think Buddy told us there's, there's a panel at the bottom or something that you pull up and then you turn on. But nobody, nobody's lived in this house since summer, since last summer, I believe. So I don't think that really made a difference, but I don't know. He, he told us that there's some way at the bottom you can turn it on and he didn't really help us with that. So anyway. It would be good to use too, since it is freezing cold every day too, but of course, now that we're spending money on propane and all that stuff, who knows? Don't even want to use it. So yeah, this is this is empty right now. Our furniture is still being delivered. We still have to wait for two couches, and we're also getting a kitchen table because, I mean, this kitchen table, first off, who in the shit gets pink cat trays. I mean, my fucking girlfriend's cats are, they are girls. So I guess it makes sense, but come on. But yeah, this is the kitchen table that looks like somebody built in middle school in tech ed class. I mean, this is a piece of shit, but we are getting a kitchen table. So thank the Lord. And this is, this is the kitchen. We still didn't put the handles on the fridge yet. So actually we put, we put this one on. It has the two, yeah, we put the two on top, but this one we didn't put on yet because we were just like, you know what, screw it. Actually, I don't even know if they gave us the right screws because in the bag they gave us with the new fridge, it was like inside the fridge, and the screws that they gave us, it didn't seem to fit. So I'm not sure what the hell that means. This is the new oven, I believe. It's brand spanking new. We haven't even used it yet. All we've been eating the past couple of days is takeout. We had Chinese food yesterday and we had pizza. We had pizza the day we moved in, Friday night, and then I'm pretty sure we had leftover pizza on Saturday and then what did we have Saturday night? I don't even know. But Sunday, which was yesterday, actually, wait, we had Chinese food on Saturday and then yesterday what the, what did we, eat? Yeah, I don't even know. Anyway, we didn't, we haven't been eating well the past couple of days, that's for sure, because yeah, we had to uh, go back over to the, the rat pit. We had to get the food that was in the fridge and put it in this one, but most of the stuff is almost expired. So really the only thing that's in there, I think that isn't expired is pizza pockets. The milk expires in three days, so I'm guessing the next time I try to pour a glass of milk or try to get some cinnamon toast crunch, there'll be chunks coming out of the milk carton. So this is the this is the kitchen. This microwave is also garbage. It's small as hell and only one plate can fit in it. Actually, no. Which plate? This one doesn't fit in it. This plate right here, the one on the top doesn't fit. That red one does. And this one, this plate right here and the red one are like the only plates that fit in. Well, all of them fit in, but the, it has like this, the turn table, turn plate in the middle of it. So you can fit all the plates in, but the, the plate will still move. But the, like this, the, this, uh, like the plate inside the microwave will move, but the actual plate with the food on it won't move. So only two plates fit in this damn thing. Uh, that actually move So that's kind of unfortunate. This is the bathroom business goes down in this room So this is pretty much it for the main floor all new appliances. Everything is new and It's just crazy that I'm even in a new place. That's that's nuts. I'll save I'll save the best room for last which is downstairs the man cave will be shown last the setup is done, everything is all ready to go, and it's pretty damn crazy. This is the upstairs, but this is, this is the closet. You know what's funny too, is that she literally unpacked all of her stuff, put all of her fucking clothes up and stuff, and on, and then all she puts up for me is my sweaters. Thanks. 
Thanks, asshole. And the bathroom is pretty damn crazy, too. The bath bathroom is pretty damn nuts because they have the jets. The jet, uh, whatever. The things that, that, uh, <laughs> yeah, the things. The jet things in the bathroom. So, yeah, it's pretty damn crazy. We cleaned the bathrooms like nobody's business when we moved in. That was one of the first things I wanted to do. We took every every uh, bathroom cleaning mechanism on the planet and we went to town on these bathrooms because I wasn't messing around, man. Especially with, especially with this too, right? Like, you should have seen the BS that was coming out of these jets. I mean, I'm scared to use this thing. This is the bed and of course, she got these, these damn bed sheets that I wasn't even a fan of. She comes home, she's like, I got new bed sheets. Really? So this is the TV we have in the room. It's pretty new. It's a Samsung. We actually got this in the summer. This was actually the TV I used to record all the videos on before I got this new monitor downstairs. I mean, it's, it's a very good TV. But after playing on the monitor, that is a million times better. No question, really. The monitor is insane. But... Yeah, it's a smart TV, it has all the apps on it, Netflix, YouTube, one in the basement of course, but let's go downstairs. This is where, this is the second room where all the magic will be happening. So this is, this is crazy dude. This might be getting intense in, in seconds, but I'll, I'll show the main, I'll show the main, uh, basement first this is the basement we still have to get another couch too because that couch that was in the living room was supposed to be down here but we couldn't fit it down the stairs so all we have is the tv and the cable set up the nintendo was in that box so we haven't set up that we haven't set that up yet either so all we have right now is this little couch and we have no idea what to do with the basement now we have to get another couch i guess so that's pretty much it for this room it's pretty empty Right in this room is the washer and dryer. They haven't even delivered the dryer yet. And this is this is an interesting room because if you've if you've seen the movie Matilda, you probably know what I'm talking about when I say this. We call this room the Chokey. This is where Miss Trunchbull will send you if you are bad. There's really nothing in this room other than paint left over from them painting, and we kind of put some stuff in here too like cleaning stuff but yeah that room is will not be used for anything it's kind of just like a storage room but here it is this is this is where this is intense this is the room of all rooms hopefully this is where the magic will be going down. Jesus, it's warm in here. Should have turned down the heat. I'm roasting. So anyway, this is the desk I had to build. Actually, I got some help with this desk. Uh, took, how long did it take? Took almost two hours, I believe, to build this desk. And this is everything, pretty much. This is the new monitor I got. It's a Ben Q. It's not the greatest monitor of all time, but it definitely gets the job done. I was playing some MLB on this last night. I wasn't recording or anything, but I mean, it is a difference. I, I honestly didn't even know because a lot of people were saying you should play on a monitor. It's a big difference. I was just like, is it really a big difference? And then I got this thing. I was like, yeah, this is a huge difference. Not to mention when I was playing on my 32 inch, I was playing. I was sitting like in the middle of the room. Like how many times? Would I be opening up packs or something? And I wouldn't even be able to read the description of the packs. Would have to lean in and see the writing. Like right now I can sit like directly right in front of the monitor. These lights too are crazy. I wish it was dark right now because you would see how well these lights are. I mean you can't really see, you can see them on, but you can't really see how well they light up the room until it's dark. But these, these lights are crazy. So this is, this is what I'm talking about. I wasn't able to record at night in the previous place because people would complain. There'd be police at the door in seconds. Here is the GTA posters. Uh, this one, this one is, this one's pretty badass if you ask me. So is that one. Both are badass. But these have like, you can flip them. There's posters on each side. 
The one in the background that I was using in the previous place was the one with Franklin walking chop. And it had the, uh, that was kind of the cool poster because it had like the initial release date. So it was kind of like the, the release date poster. It said April 2013 on it, even though the game didn't come out till September 2013. It was pretty cool. But I switched up the posters. Santonio San Holmes, this is probably one of my favorite jerseys. All the jerseys are in here, but this is definitely my favorite jersey. Santonio San Holmes, number 10. All I can think about when I look at this jersey is that catch he made, well, two catches actually. The catch he made in the Super Bowl for the Steelers against the Cardinals. And then that catch he made in 2011 against the Patriots in New England in the divisional round. That was probably the greatest day of my life. Every time I look at that jersey, all I can think about is that. So yeah, I showed the monitor. I guess I should have just, uh, I kind of just showed the monitor and then went all around the room. But this is, this is the MacBook, the MacBook Pro. This is, I think, it's not the newest one, but it's one of the newest ones because on the side, it has like the new, the new USB ports. Like it doesn't take the, the normal USBs, so I had to get this adapter with it so I can plug the Elgato into that, which I didn't even know when I first bought it. I bought the, the damn MacBook, came back, opened it up, and I was like, oh no. We already have a problem. So I had to go back out and buy this adapter, which was like a hundred bucks, believe it or not. They didn't have, there was cheaper versions, but they didn't have them at the store at that time, like I was looking online at the Best Buy website, seeing ones that you can just get with the USB or yeah with the USB because this one has this has USB and then two other things I'm not going to use that's why it was so expensive because there's three things you can plug into that but this is this is the beast right here I guess I should turn it on shouldn't I this thing is is a beast so I'll probably butcher most of these words <laughs> because like I said I'm not the biggest PC guy of all time but uh, on the box, it says Intel i5, 7400, 3.0 gigahertz CPU, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, 1 terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. Uh, has the Wi-Fi adapter, the mouse, the keyboard. I really got a lot of help when I was picking out computers. Like, I didn't just go on... Uh, any website or something just pick the first one I saw I was getting a lot of information from a lot of people who knew a lot about computers and stuff so yeah I'm probably I'm probably butchering that word AMD Radeon RX 584 gigabytes GPU so that's all the specs that it's showing right now it has Windows 10 I guess that's obvious that would be the new computer I bought so I will be able to stream on that this is this is the keyboard this keyboard is actually pretty badass too has some lights on it. I need a, uh, I need a pad for the mouse. I'll probably get that tonight, actually, because I have to go to Best Buy at some point again. But yeah, man, this computer is pretty crazy. This setup is is amazing, dude. Like it's amazing. I should have shown. I should have actually shown that. I should have shown my setup at my apartment. How shitty it was. I had to like go get. I had to like stack my camera like my face cam on a bunch of boxes, put the boxes on the bed so it was like level with my face. It was the worst setup of all time. I probably should have shown that before I left because it was horrible. Yeah, this is the microphone. It is a Yeti. And I'm still rocking the sock on it because I don't have the, uh, the pop filter or whatever it's called. This is the PlayStation, of course. I still can't believe this has even happened, man. Like, honestly. Like, just the setup I had at the last apartment to this is unbelievable. Like, I wouldn't have been able to buy a PlayStation, or not a PlayStation, a computer. Just for the simple fact that I would have had nowhere to put it in the apartment. There was nowhere I could have put it. Because where I was recording videos was the bedroom. And with all my stuff in the bedroom already, there was barely any room to walk around. So if I put a huge PC... And I'd, I'd have nowhere to put the keyboard, the mouse, and just, you know, my laptop, PlayStation. I am so, I'm so glad I'm done with that rat pit of an apartment. Everything's all set up. We're good to go. I'm going to try and stream as much as possible. Um, I still haven't figured out how to stream because I have to, uh, 
I'm not sure how I'm going to stream yet, like if I'm going to use the Elgato software or if I'm going to use OBS. I've been hearing OBS is the way better solution. But yeah, that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. I will see everybody in the next video.